I asked the employee to see if they had any last gen games and he just told me to go to the drawer and pick out whatever I wanted and you guys won't believe what I found next. Hey everyone, just wanted to make a quick video today. So GameStop currently has some amazing deals going on. One of my favorites, it's the 4 for 20 and also the 4 for 40 deal going on. So you can buy four games under $10 and that'll be $20. And then you can buy four games under $20 and that'll be $40 for all those games. Every time they have this sale, I always end up buying tons and tons of games because it's such a great sale and deal going on. It is going on right now, so I'm going to quickly edit this video and post it up so that by the time you guys see it, you guys will be able to go to your GameStop and enjoy this deal as well. So I'm just hoping to pick up tons of games just to add to my game collection. Maybe I'll add some games to my $10 game collection as well if I can find any interesting games. Probably won't buy too much for that. But uh, yeah, just going to show you guys what I pick up for today, and maybe this will just be a quick video. Made my way into the store, and the first games I'm going to be looking for is the 4 for 40 deals, so games under $20. I first spot this query game, which I'm definitely interested in. This is probably going to be the first game I add. And then also found this 7 Days to Die. was considering this, but I had never played it before. Looking around some more, and I did spot Call of Duty Vanguard. Never played this one either, and not sure if it was good or not. The next game I found was Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. I may already own this one, I wasn't sure. Next I came down to this stack of games down here. And just kind of dug through, seeing if I could find anything. Little Nightmares was one that was interesting. I kind of just grabbed the games and put it off to the side debated on picking them up or not. Same with this, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinity. And then also this Mega Man Legacy Collection. I did realize they had a buy one get one free bin. So this deal was going on to, it's for new games or what GameStop considers to be new. So you can definitely find some cool stuff in here. Since it is new condition, the prices on it are a little bit higher. They even had some Switch games in here. Cobra Kai. The next section I looked at was the Switch section. And look for games for under $20. Found the first game, Sonic Forces. Definitely interested in this one and I did pick it up actually. Then looked at this stack right here. They had a lot of games without the cover art, and I wasn't going to grab those. Then near the end, I spotted this one, Ukulele. Not sure if this is the second game or not, but both $19.99, had to grab them both. And then I came to the PlayStation 5 section. I still consider PlayStation 5 to be a bit new, so to find games here under $10 or $20, those are great finds. I saw this one right here, Returnal. Looked very interesting, never seen it before, so definitely considered it. And then to the PlayStation 4 section, just kind of skimmed through. The first game I saw was Mortal Kombat 11. This one looked super cool. Big fan of Mortal Kombat as well, so put that on the end. And then near Autotoma. This one I've never played before and don't know much about, but hey, for $19.99. So just kind of continued scrolling through these games. The PlayStation 4 has such a huge variety of video games. And with deals like this, I just want to pick up everything, you know, that applies with the deal. Rick and Morty, I saw this one on the Xbox as well, but I haven't really watched the show like that. And then I saw Rocket League. Definitely considered this one as well. And then the last game that I actually pulled from this stack is the Seven Deadly Sins game for $17.99. Didn't see the TV show, but it is an anime based game. Then I came away with these four games and I had to decide between one of them because I had already grabbed the four games and this was definitely a tough decision. But ultimately, I ended up with Mortal Kombat 11. Next, I was in search for games under 
And the first game I saw was Chivalry 2. Never played it before, but I did play Chivalry 1. And right away I found another game. This was Batman Arkham Knight. An amazing game and for 10 bucks, making it only $5, that's great. I needed two more games to add to this total so that we could have 4 for 20. And there honestly are so many great games under $10 that you can find at GameStop. I saw this Darksiders Genesis game on the Xbox One. Really considered this one as well. And then down here, these Hello Neighbor games, for some reason, they just stuck out to me. I played the first one a little bit, but yeah, never seen the second one before. I did end up picking up Darksiders, though, to add to this bundle. And then I looked at the PS5 section in case I saw anything for under $10, and I did. I saw Scarlet Nexus for $9.99, a PS5 game that I can get for 5 bucks. That's an easy grab. They also had a clearance rack. They have a buy one, get one free on all clearance items. That's games, toys, anything in GameStop, which is an amazing deal as well. So definitely pick up some stuff here if you can. So I've got um, four games for the four for 40. Okay. So those are all under like 20. And then I got like four games for the four for 20 deal. Okay. So after I checked out and bought these eight games, I asked the employee to see if they had any last gen games. And he just told me to go to the drawer and pick out whatever I wanted. And you guys won't believe what I found next. Not sure which ones are under the 20 bucks. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna like browse around, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I played like I haven't played a lot of the newer ones. Well, I played I just played Hogwarts, which was a lot yeah. of fun. But um I used to play like the ones on the PS1, <laughs> Sorcerer's yeah, Stone I, and all those were I had all those too. I, I, I had the <clears throat> PS2 games. Mhm. Mm they went from open world to whatever Goblet of Fire was supposed to be. Mhm. Mm cool. Yeah, I just played Hogwarts Legacy and Man, that game was a ton of fun. <laughs> it has like a it's yellow with a Mario, mm -hmm. 2D Mario on it. You poke them on with myself and get them to evolve and stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I did not like how they didn't see that. I'm not exactly <laughs> sure which ones I want. Because uh, these are some actually some really good games. Yeah. Do you guys, do people ever look in, into these bins or Sometimes. into these? If they know to ask, mm -hmm. and sometimes they see the prices for some of them, and like, uh, like the, we have Wii U games and Wii games too, and DS. Uh huh. And I think that's oh. the second one. Uh huh. It's like full price. Oh, cool. Forty-four bucks. Yeah. You guys ever plan on like doing something with these nowadays, or? Um, we started. <clears throat> uh, we're, we just started something where we're taking some old, older games in this. Mm hmm. Like Genesis and Game Boy. Uh, at GameStop, you yep, said? It was in that drawer. Really? It surprised me that we had any of those kind of games. Wow. Do people just trade them in? You guys just accept yeah. them? That's what. Yeah, that's what GameStop should be doing. Is like gearing more towards the retro stuff too yeah. they would probably get a lot more people interested in coming yeah, back we, we and... get so many people that are like do you have any game boy games or anything and then we have to, <laughs> I, I, yeah. we're not supposed to but i tell them to go to yeah um universal yeah universal collectibles or um mega media exchange mm -hmm. on blue mound uh i got a bunch of stuff i gotta figure out which ones i want it's a lot of really good stuff too. You even have like a sealed game. Yeah, I, there was another PS Vita game that I got, uh, uh -huh. Final Fantasy something. Okay, okay. So I think I'm doing another pile of stuff. Um, I'm gonna grab these four, and then um, I really want to grab these two. Maybe this one. Oh, that's nice. 
Mm -hmm. I've never played the Mass Effect games. Are they are they worth getting into? Yeah, I've I've <laughs> recently gotten into it, knowing only like two things about the game: that the uh -huh. main character is a terrible dancer, yeah. and it's a space. It takes place in space. I think I'll grab it. Yeah, I remember Mass Effect One when it came out. I was like, this game is so clunky, third person, yeah. and so I just never went back to it. But maybe I'll have to check it out again. There are quests to do. Mm -hmm. But like, there's some that come back if you do them, and then you do it, and then you go into Mass Effect Two. Mm -hmm. They may mention something that stuff that. Those are the other certain missions. Thank you. Yeah. Alright, so. Alright, I think I'm good. So I'm gonna go with those, and then these are the 10 and up. So, yeah, thanks again for yeah, no showing me all that stuff. Our district leader was just talking about how we need to push this deal, so it's yeah. a good thing you came in today. <laughs> Apparently, we didn't do so well yesterday. Mm hmm. No, oh, I love this deal. This deal's it's great for, I'm like a collector, so. It's great for people like me to get, you know, a yeah. bunch of games. I wouldn't buy these full price because, you know, it's just yeah. a little high. But with deals like this, it encourages us to buy a lot more stuff, I guess. Guys, we just came out with a ton of games. Right when I was about to leave, I asked, do you guys happen to have any of the older gen games? And he said, follow me to this back drawer and uh, have a look for yourself. And... Boy, was there a lot of games in there. So I'm just going to quickly go over everything that we picked up in this stop. To break down the pricing a little bit more, the 4 for 20 games, those were games under $10. So each of those games were $5 a piece, in theory. And then for the 4 for 40 games, those games were all under $20. And in theory, those will be around $10 a piece. Four games for 40 bucks, $10 a piece. So I'm going to quickly go over all the games we got for under $10. These games were all $5 a piece. And these games, I'm adding all of these to the $10 game collection. The first game we got was Scarlet Nexus on the PS5. A PS5 game for 5 bucks. That is amazing. We then picked up Chivalry on the PS4. This is actually Chivalry 2. Played the first one and had a lot of fun on it. Then we picked up Batman Arkham Knight. Love the Batman games, and this one was amazing as well. Then we picked up Mortal Kombat 11. I enjoy the Mortal Kombat games a lot as well. Um, I don't really have a lot of people to play with. Usually I have friends and cousins that like to play with me, but um, I'm probably the only one that really likes Mortal Kombat a lot. Then we got some games on the last-gen consoles, which is amazing. The first game we got was a PS Vita game, and this is brand new and sealed for 5 bucks. The Walking Dead season two i played the first season and a little bit of the second season i might have finished the second season too but uh don't remember this definitely is worth more than five bucks i think i could flip it but i don't know the prices of these games off the top of my head then we picked up red dead redemption one game of the year comes with the zombie expansion game as well absolutely love red dead redemption then lord of the rings conquest i actually never played this one but any Lord of the Rings game we can get to add to the collection, that is great. And then the last game we picked up was Portal 2. So great when it came out. It is such a fun cooperative game to play still. And we got all of these games for around 40 bucks. Eight games for 40 bucks. This is great. And now I'm going to quickly go over all the games that I got for around 10 bucks. These were the under $20 games. I got two Switch games. I got Sonic Forces and Ukulele. I think this is part two of that game. Both great Switch games that you get to add to the collection now. And then I picked up The Query. I actually have this game brand new and sealed. But with brand new games, I just don't want to open them until I actually do have time to play them. And I haven't had time. But now I have it pre-owned. And I don't have to worry about opening the new one now. Got it for 10 bucks. That's amazing. Actually, I'm now seeing that it's got like a $39.99 sticker on it. Must be old or something. They must have swapped out the case with the one that I saw. All right, I think I might have gotten some things mixed up. So this Darksiders game is actually $5. It was $9 inside, so it goes down to 5 And then this Mortal Kombat game was actually around 15 to 20 So this one was actually $10. I won't be adding this one to the game collect, the $10 game collection. I'll instead be adding this Darksiders game to that. 
But yeah, Darksiders, haven't played it much. I played the first one on the Xbox 360, but didn't know that this game, this company was still making these games. And then for this last batch of games, these were the games on the last gen, a bunch of PlayStation 3 games. And I know for a fact, the value of these games are way more than $10. I picked up the Godfather 2. I know some of these Godfather games have some decent value, maybe because on the PlayStation 3, it just doesn't have that much. But for 10 bucks, that's great. Then I picked up a Silent Hill game. From my understanding, Silent Hill games go for a lot of money. Um, this one, 10 bucks as well. Then I got a Saw game. I know these Saw games have some decent value as well. I actually just started watching the Saw movies and man, some of those are some gruesome scenes, but I absolutely love the story on uh, how it all connects together. And then the last thing we picked up was this Mass Effect trilogy. Never played this yet, but I uh, always wanted to. I mean, it's a whole collection in here for 10 bucks. Great grab. So yeah, I don't even know if I'm gonna go to another GameStop because we spent over $100 here. So uh, yeah, I might just end the video right now. Go and check out your GameStop, guys, and ask for those last gen console games. You might find some amazing stuff. I'm surprised at what I found today as well. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm definitely gonna head up to other GameStops as well throughout the week. I think this one goes until the end of next week. So uh, yeah, by the time I post this, it'll be the end of next week. So go to your Game Stops. I'm gonna go buy some more stuff, spend all my money on this. This is one of the greatest deals going on right now. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I upload all kinds of game hunting content. I've got a $10 game collection series and definitely check that out as well. So yeah, this concludes the video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.